Hello and welcome to episode 13. Uh, we're going to learn about something called an if-then statement, and we also use a thing called else. This is a major part of pretty much all computer programs. So what we're saying to it is we're getting the computer to make a decision. We're saying if something else meets this condition. So it might be that it's less than 10 or more than 10, or you know, if it's over a particular score, if it matches a particular number, um, then you do something else. And one example of where you'll see this is when you put your password in something, the computer saying, if the password matches what I know is the password, then let them go through. And if it does not, else, go back and ask them again. So let's have a quick, have a quick look and see this code in action. So what I have on the screen is the start of a program that's going to ask you a very simple number problem. So as you can see in lines one and two, I'm generating two variables, which are number one, which is going to be a random number between one and a hundred, and number two, which is going to be another random number between one and a hundred. Then I'm calculating the answer, the variable answer. And the variable answer is going to equal number one plus number two. So the computer knows what the correct answer is. That's the variable answer. Then it's going to ask on the screen, what is number one plus number two? And it's going to collect from the user a variable called user answer. So, in fact, this program will currently run. So let's just have a quick look at it. Okay, I'll just slide it into view. Uh, 94 plus 74, uh, let's say that's going to be 168. I put it in and the program's over. And the reason the program's over is because it hasn't been asked to do anything with that data. So that's what we're going to do next. So we're going to say if, and as you can see, it turned blue. And over here, it actually gives us an example of how this works. So this is a really good thing to do when you're writing your code. Rather than coming back to this video, have a look over here and see what's going on in terms of how you use it. So if user answer equals answer, so in other words, if I'm right, then here's what you're going to do. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to text window, write line. Oops, made a mistake there. Write line. And you're going to write um, correct. Else. So if that isn't the case. So if, but else is for everything other than that. You're going to write text window. Right line, and obviously we're going to write incorrect. There we go. And what we need to do to close this off is write end if. And there you go, it's brought that up for us. So let's have a look at this program in action. So we run it 86 plus 61. Well, this is the same as last time. So 80 plus 60 is 140, so it's 147. Oh, typed 148. Let's put that in. Incorrect. So what it did is it made a decision. It compared what it knew to be the answer with what the user answer was, and these things didn't equal. So it didn't do the statement underneath. It did the else statement. So let's run this again and see how it works. So running it again, 54 plus 74. Okay, well, that's going to be 138. So we pop that in. It's also incorrect. There you go. It would help if I was better at my maths, wouldn't it? So 87 plus 93. Oh, that's easy. That's 180. That's a nice easy one. So this time it is going to match. So then it printed correct. So as you can see, it's running this little test in the if statement. So if the test works, if user answer in fact equals answer, then you go through to that bit of code, which was printing correct. And it might have been printing correct plus adding a point to the score, but there's all sorts of things you can do, but it didn't. So that's how you do this. Now, it's your time to code. So here's what you're going to do. You are going to make a short program where the computer makes up a random number between 1 and 5. And it asks the user to guess that number. Now, if the guess matches the random number, then you say yes. And if the guess does not match the random number, then you say no. So that is your time to code and you need to get to that now and I'll create a part B so you can see how I solve this situation.